Dominic, I'm going to start with you. Give us an example of one program that you're, uh, that you're working on, have been working on, going to be working on, that you're really proud of, that you'd like to explain and, uh, and, and really highlight for the community here. Sure. Uh, thank you, Luke. There's so many to choose from at VA uh, that are going on right now. Um, but uh, as Rob mentioned, uh, we, we worked together in the Pentagon. He was my boss uh, about uh, five or six years ago. And when we'd sit in his office in the in the E ring, when he was the deputy CIO over there, uh, we often found ourselves opining about uh, how to crack the code on the cloud. Uh, so I, I think it's great, Rob's, you know, helping with uh, cloud technology and solutions. And I would say, you know, as we all know, the the federal government has definitely cracked that code. So I'll talk a little bit about uh, VA's move to the cloud. You know, luckily we set up our, our enterprise cloud platforms um, a couple of years ago, and we've been migrating applications and, and some of our backbone networking support services into the cloud. Um, and it really helped us for COVID. We were, you know, we didn't skip a beat when we were uh, servicing our, uh, you know, about the 9 million veterans that are in our system. And uh, we really leveraged telework uh, or telework and uh, telehealth and, and really got our clinicians out there servicing our veterans in, in remote areas. But uh, you know these these cloud platforms are really essential for us to scale uh, at at capa to capacity uh, to meet the need. Um, uh, so uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what we've done. Uh, we as of right now we've moved about 113 applications into the cloud, uh, and we've got 63 in process. Now VA's got about 700 apps in our inventory, and wow. so that if, if with those numbers we currently have about 16% of our applications in the cloud. Now that sounds low, but it's really not because that's just a, the raw numbers. It's not the, the size of the applications. We started off, we went all in and we moved some of VA's largest applications into the cloud, such as our Office 365 suite, including our enterprise mm -hmm. mail uh, for again, our 400,000 person workforce, not including contractors. We've moved, we moved our whole identity and access management solution into the cloud. Our, our veterans benefits management service, I told you earlier about the billions of claims we process every year. So we've got claims work going on in the cloud. Um, so on a weighted basis, if you look at the types of applications we moved into the cloud, mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's far heavier reliance uh, and, and uh, support from the cloud. Um, our, we also moved uh, many instances of our uh, legacy Vista uh, uh, electronic health record into the cloud, which uh, enables more ease in maintaining and uh, um, uh, augmenting those applications uh, because they're more readily available in the cloud and they can scale um, as we need to uh, until we get fully migrated over to the new electronic health record solution that uh, we uh, are working with Cerner on. Um, for VBMS, we've got 2 billion documents in the VA Enterprise Cloud. Two, that's, that's a B, 2 billion documents and that grows daily. Um, so, and we were also using chat bots that are cloud, cloud powered um, and, and setting up websites, uh, supporting some of our critical uh, back office business functions. So, um, you know, I would say that's one of the biggest uh, successes we've had in our modernization is our that's leveraging of our cloud environment. 